Hey guys, this is Iman sharing about WordPress. In today's video, I'm going to share five WordPress tips that can be useful for you and can even save your time. So without further ado, let's start this video. The very first one is whenever we log into our WordPress dashboard, we always see this welcome message as well as a lot of panels underneath. Even we are not using any panel. That's why for cleaning the dashboard, we used to close these tabs. Uh, but if you want to get rid of these panels and this welcome message permanently, you can check out this screen option at the top. If we open this, we will see all these panel as well as welcome message in the form of checklist. So we will uncheck all of them. And now we can see our dashboard is clean and we will not see any panel again until we check in any one of them. The second is whenever we are writing any post, we need to use some elements like gallery, image, heading, etc. For that, we click on this plus icon and search for the specific element we want to use and then select it. Instead of searching and selecting, we can simply type forward slash and it will start showing the list of all elements from where we can directly start using that element. The third one is whenever we finish writing any article and want to publish it, we click on this publish button and it again asks for confirmation. So for avoiding this double confirmation, we will click on these three dots and go to the preferences and uncheck this and then close the tab. And now if we click on publish, it will directly publish this post on a single click. The fourth one is if we want to delete 100 images from our media library, but just by using three clicks. For that, we go to this bulk select option and then we select the very first image and then press the shift key from our keyboard and then we will click on the last image and it will automatically select all the images in between the very first one and the last one. In this way, we can select 100, 200 or 1000 images on just three clicks the very first one is enabling the bulk select the second one is selecting the first image and the third one is selecting the last image the fifth and the last one is whenever we want to create a menu of our pages we always create pages first and then go to the appearance and then menu and then search specific pages from the left bar and add it into our menu so for avoiding these steps and making our process more fast we can simply go to the customize and then if we click on menus and then select our menu in my case it's primary and if i now click on add item and type the page name let's suppose i want to add about me and then i want to add contact me now if i click on publish and now if i visit my website i can see the menu is updated but the point is if i go to the pages now the pages are created automatically whereas in the other case we always create pages first and then add them into the menu i hope these tips will help you in your working with wordpress if you want to see such more videos on wordpress feel free to let me know in the comment box if you like the video like and subscribe